Hey everybody, Jason here today. I thought I'd shoot a really quick video on a topic that's, that I can appreciate. It's chassis protectors. There are a lot of different companies out there that make film for protecting your chassis and your vehicle. And if you race indoor, this probably isn't that important, especially if you're running like a B4 or something like that. But if you race outdoor, it can really, you know, your chassis can really take a beating. And there are quite a few companies out there that actually make chassis film. And I found that they're really not all created equal. So I just recently put, a, uh, put an Avid chassis on my uh, B44, and Avid sends a really nice chassis film uh, with their kit, and it's just really thick, it's really durable, and it's really similar to my favorite brand. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you some of the chassis films that I've used. And I guess I'm gonna start from the ones that I have had the least luck with, and I'll move my way up to the ones that I like the most. So this is the Kyosho one from my RB6, and it's a good film, and it's what, what's nice is that it comes with some extra decals and stuff, but it is clearly an indoor only chassis film. This thing will just get destroyed outside and it does its job, it looks really cool and it comes with some extra decals, but it's just something you, not, you just don't wanna run. It just isn't that thick. And I found that it tends to delaminate a little bit and that just is what it is. So the one that's about the same is this J Concepts one for a uh, B44. It's basically the same thing. I mean, I can't tell any difference between this one and the Kyosho one. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's made by the same guy or company or whatever. Either way, it's a really good product, especially if you're racing indoors, but if you go outside, you're just, it's gonna take a beating. Now, the issue is when you're racing outside, you end up in a situation where basically, you go from, this was a brand new e-buggy, a Kyosho e-buggy. I ran it uh, on three days. I ran it at Thunder Alley, the Proline Test Track, and then Hot Rod for a Blue Groove race. And, this went from a brand new chassis to this. And as you can see, it's just taken an absolute beating. And that just, that's going to happen. Unfortunately, when you race outside, you need something heavy duty. And even with the best chassis film available, you'd probably have to change it after every run just to keep that chassis in a decent position. I've been told by a lot of different drivers, they'll let the chassis wear out and just put new new steel screws in the and hold, to hold the rear bulkhead on just because they don't wear out as fast. So I don't know on something as big and as heavy as an e-buggy if there's anything that you can truly do that'll be really effective to, to keep the chassis in great shape. But on 10 scale, I know you can. Now, one of my other, one of my favorite options for the longest time was this stuff here. This is a team associated, a team associated product. And it's just a really thick piece of uh, plastic. I have no idea who makes it for Team Associate. It's probably like a 3M product or something. But either way, it's really, it's really thick and you can cut it to fit, which is really nice. So the other thing is, uh, when you get something this big, you, sometimes you can make extra patch pieces or you can make pieces to double up in certain areas that you know have a lot of wear. So either way, I really like the Associate stuff and it's really good. Um, the downside is, is you have to cut it to fit. Now, by far, my favorite chassis protector brand is one, I'm sure, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but I doubt you've ever heard of it. A guy that used to race at Leisure Hours, him and his son Derek, uh, had, had this thing called uh, R17, and I don't know if you, how well you can see or can't see, but this is just a chassis protector they make, and they would come, and I think they used to sell them for, I don't know if they were like 10 bucks a piece or something like that, but this thing is really thick. And just to give you an idea, one of my favorite RC vehicles I've had forever, my SC10, it's kind of been decommissioned right now, it's got the, I just ended up putting on the new uh, J Concept sway bar stuff in the front and the rear. But this thing, this chassis protector is the one that was made by, by, uh, by Rich. And this thing is literally over two years old. And I don't know how good you can see, but I mean, this thing has just held up like an absolute champion. So by far, my favorite chassis protector is the R17 stuff. Now, I don't really have the website just yet. I tried to get in touch with Rich, but I haven't heard back from him. If he gets back with me here shortly, if he gets back with me here shortly, I'll definitely give you, uh, put, put a link in the description below or let you know where you guys can get your hands on these. But clearly these are some of the best chassis protectors ever. They work really well. I mean, if you race indoor, your chassis is gonna stay flawless. And even if you race outdoor, they are pretty heavy duty. So hopefully with uh, this little bit of knowledge, you guys can uh, protect your cars, keep them in good shape. That way, if you decide you want something else, you can get top dollar when you sell it. Or maybe if you're just like me, you just like to keep the cars in good shape. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.